Okay, so we're going to take a quick look here at Blender. Uh, this is version 2.91.0, it looks like, and um, one of the latest releases of Blender, but in case you are not familiar with this version, uh, we're just going to go ahead and select everything, grab it, and delete it. So today we're going to go ahead and create a template for any of your favorite aircraft. Um, this is a good way to figure out where all the pieces parts exist in your in your maps as you're trying to do your painting. Um, real easy to do, very simple to figure out. Um, so let's go ahead and import our first uh, MSFS GLTF. You can get these extensions online. Uh, make sure you're searching for the Blender Blender to uh, or GLTF to Blender, I think it is, or MSFS Blender. There's a couple different versions out there. Um, this will get you in the right direction. So I went ahead, I've got the Savage Cub. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna select the level of detail, LOD 00. That's the lowest number, which is the highest resolution of detail that you can find for this plane. The higher the number, the lower the resolution or the farther away you would be when you're viewing the object. Um, first thing we see here is our Savage Cub imported from Microsoft. Um, we can go ahead and just take a quick look at that. The first thing on the right side is our collection. We're gonna select fuselage, fuselage, fuselage. And over here, we will go down and select this materials properties. If you have to slow down, feel free to pause the video at any time. So materials properties. Now we have no option here to do anything with it. So what we wanna do is go up to object mode and switch it over to edit real quick. And in edit mode, we can actually select the fuselage, everything that's affiliated with fuselage is now highlighted. So to make this super quick job, we're gonna go back up here and we're gonna select texture paint this time. And now you can see we've got our, our framework from our UV map that we can go ahead and edit. Um, right now we're not gonna edit anything. We're just gonna take this framework out of the the program and use it again so now we can go now that we've gone to texture template texture paint we can go to uv editing and you can see we have uh the same thing except for our nodes are selected don't worry about the nodes the little dark spots they will go away um once you do the export real easy to do go to uv and export your uv layout over here on the right side set your your um, resolution, we're going to do 10, 2048 is the default for this um, aircraft. So we're going to do 2048. I'll save it as a PNG. I'm going to call this Cub Fuselage or SVG Cub Fuselage. Uh, whatever works for you. I'm going to save this to you. Um, my H drive for the moment and done. So um, if you haven't already, you can do some Photoshop editing right with the program. I'm gonna show you this trick real quick. That's under edit preferences. If you go down and select file paths, um, you can set your image editor as Photoshop and that'll allow you to go in and edit the image straight from, from Blender. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up Photoshop open up that Savage Cub framework that I have, which is under my H drive. Um, directly, you can see I've done a little bit of work on this already. So PQRS, Savage Cub fuselage. Do, 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 do. And on here, we've got um, our framework that we're looking for. Our UV template uh, is all laid out. We've got all the ribs, all the colors, uh, the shades and things that we want. So. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and open up our Savage Cub. So that's going to be under Flight Simulator Community. Uh, I have this all my templates under here from the, the clicks pack. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the Savage Cub. Let's go ahead and do their orange and white. Some objects, airplanes, cub, textures. And then we want to take the fuselage ALBD. Now your ALBD is going to be your main color overall the generalized color some of it gets changed with the the textures and the and the um lighting and stuff like that but the base color for your planes 
framework in this case is under the fuselage ALBD PNG DDS file. Um, you can also uh, take a look at, there will be a, a comp file, which will be a little bit more of your metallic look and um, the, basically the shininess or the roughness. Uh, is it metallic -y or plastic -y type of material that's all under your comp file and your norm file gives you a little bit more of your depth, I believe. Uh, it's been a while since I've done it, but I think that's how it works. But really the ALBD is what we're focusing on today. We're not going to import the MIP maps. Um, I've got the DDS file importer. That's through, um, you can go on NVIDIA and import that if you don't have it already. Uh, this is just to show you how to bring in the, the framework. So here we've got our fuselage and here we've got our image. What I'm going to do is control A, control C, go over here and then control V. And now I've made a new layer with my framework and, and everything on top of it. Um, first thing I'm going to do over here is lock that layer and I'm going to call it framework. Um, for the background layer, I'm going to double click it to unlock it. I'm going to call this um, main image, something like that. Just something that I remember that this is the original that I'm working with. And now I've got a, a framework that's locked and the main image that I can go into. So what I'll do is take a zoom in and let's take a look at one of the pieces of this. So you can see there's a lot of, a lot of bleeding, a lot of over with the colors. We don't actually need it. If you can just focus specifically on your part, then you won't have to worry about going over too much. So let's say this, for example, I'll go in and maybe take my poly select tool, the poly lasso tool. And I can just go right around generally within the outside of this frame. As long as it's close, I'm good. And maybe this will give me a good start to how to get everything cut. Um, now what I can do is control X to cut that out of there. And control V will paste it right back on. Um, I want to send it right back to where it was. within that template. Let's do a little nudge here with arrow keys. Uh, yeah, it's not quite perfect, but it's close enough. Um, I feel like I've lost maybe a half a pixel there somewhere, but that's okay. The, the other option to do that, if you didn't want to do the um, control X, you can do the control C, control V, and it'll paste it right back over top at the exact same spot, but you won't be able to get rid of the original frame, the original image, which is fine too. So in, in other words, if I was to remove the main image, I would still have uh, that there for you. Now, of course, I can remove the framework and just focus on editing that piece of the airplane. Um, so just by selecting my hide layers, I've got everything. Uh, I've just off the top of my head, I believe that's a rudder. If we're not sure, we can go into Blender again. Open that back up. And then let's take a look specifically at that part of the airplane. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight it, those nodes, uh, by holding down Shift and selecting all these little pieces. And over here, I can only assume that that's this piece here at this point. Let's take a closer look at that. Um, oh, it might be hide. Ugh, it's hidden behind the frost layer. Oh, the frost layer. Let's take a look at that here. Let's get rid of that. Frost is under frosted. There's our logo right here. So we're looking at this frame piece right here on the engine cowling or the uh, cover. So as you're editing, remember to take the frost off of the uh, template when you're working on it. So I hope that helps everybody out. Maybe we will um, try again in the future on a different video.